I've got a super exciting day planned today because I've managed to wangle my way inside the team car of Canyon DHB Sun God. Yeah, for the Tour of Britain. So that is where I'll be. I guess it's the race behind the race. Come behind the scenes. Now we've been told that the boys go 100k an hour down here. Just shows how fast you can go in the peloton. Boys, they're saying sheep on the road ahead. Please be careful. Keep your eyes wide. So you guys are coming backstage with me in the Canyon DHB Sun God car. Yep, it's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. Let's go. The Tour of Britain, the biggest cycling event in the UK. A race that attracts some of the best riders in the world. Philippe, Mark Cavendish and Wout van Aert were all on the start line. But it's the smaller teams where this race is the most important on the calendar. Not only for the sponsors, but also for the riders. A good result can literally transform a rider's career. Holti, one of the direct sportees for Canyon DHB Sun God. I've said that right, haven't I? Yeah, you have, yeah. Okay. So tell me, what are you running through with Max here? So obviously he's local boy, so he's got local knowledge, but this morning went through the, uh, through the GPS file, just dropped the man on, sort of know all these like little roads and stuff, but uh, yeah, game plan for today. And you've got the team talk in a couple like of minutes? a few minutes, yeah, exactly. Just get the boys together and then go through the strategy for the day. So heading into the camper van now and uh, just found Scotty Do. Now, Scotty's actually done pretty well yesterday and he did pretty well last year at the Tour of Britain where he went and gone on to win the KOM jersey. And now, well, you spent the day in the break, didn't you, mate? Yeah. Brutal day out. Well, I'll say brutal. The first, the first half of it was rather lovely up until the uh, up until the last KOM fight, and then it kind of fell to pieces. I was very much hoping that the uh, the peloton was going to catch us quicker than they did, but no, actually, I actually timed it pretty perfectly where they did catch us and had a nice run into the finish, if you will. So you're joining me in Team Car One. Now this is where the direct sportifs spend most of their time, basically shouting and calling on the riders, but also helping the riders with mechanicals, feeding and everything in between. Now, this is where I'm going to be sitting. Actually, no, I'm going to be sitting in the passenger seat. This is where Tim Elverson, the direct sportif for Canyon DHB Sun God is going to be sitting. And if I show you around the cockpit, so he's got the Peugeot GT. And then to the left here, we've got all the riders. So we've got all the riders names and numbers. So basically then we know what ride is in what break and when, because it all gets called upon over the race radio. And this is from the managers and uh, also the race organizers who let us know what's going on. And then over here, you've got the iPad and there you can display the race and what's happening on the race. Other than that, you've got the radio there. You've got some bottles there for the riders. A whole heap of nutrition products to hand out to the riders when they come and go. And that is the cockpit. Before the guys line up, it's the last opportunity to go over plans, tactics, and goals for the day. <laughs> you all set? Yeah, hopefully big day in the break. If things go to plan. It's not my good side, mate. Every side's a good side. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got around about 15 minutes till the start. Boys just getting ready. They're going to head to the sign on. Boys. Yeah, you gotta go now, boys, the podium. And uh, and then yeah. to the start line. Guys, watch Quick step. Bottles. On the run. <laughs> <laughs> on the run, as yeah. always. Let's see what's happening. Feeling good, Max? Oh, Eight o'clock tonight on ITV. Mega four. atmosphere. Four yeah, crowd's here to see you, mate. Ready for it. Ah, uh, yeah. Right, that's where I'm going. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get in there, Tim. <laughs> The scene is set, the riders are on the line, and I'm in the team car. Yep, I have to say, it's very strange seeing the race from this point of view. Second category, second category. Hey! Here you go, boys, let's go. 
So it's really important to put, put it in context. It's really important for a team like Canyon DHB, especially with Jacob Scott, who's got one of the jerseys or got two of the jerseys, to make sure that we can get at least someone in the break. But ultimately, we want Jacob Scott to get in the break so he can build up the points in those two jersey competitions. So, uh, well, fingers crossed, eh? Hey? Well, yeah, but we are actually trying to slide somebody else in the break to relieve pressure on one of the jerseys. And then that way, further into the race, where there's more points in the row, Jacob can take that jersey back, but it takes the pressure off him because you can't go in the break every single day. So there's two key, key stages later on in the race that are going to be important uh, for the jerseys. So in a perfect world, we'll take the jersey off ourselves today and then it can go back later on in the race. There you are. So, something that I don't even realise is the mind games behind a bike race like this, and it is mental all the time just when i'm starting to settle in there's a crash i know does anyone need a bike do you need a bike you're right bike. go on mate go on mate Do you want to put a radio on? As long as you're uh, all right. Should we put your radio on properly? So you pull up. No, you pull over on these piss stops, and I'll get Simon to do it with you. Si Simon's coming up. Stop there because he can pull over. Stop there. He's just behind us. Right, Simon. So he's on the left. Where there's a white van. There's a gap for you to pull into. So stop there. So just to explain what's going on, uh, Tom's taking a big tumble. Uh, he's got back to the peloton, but uh, his, his radio's came come, like disconnected. So um, car number two with Holty in it is going to sort Tom out before he gets back on to the uh, the peloton. But he looks like he's had a tough and a hard fall. He's lost a lot of skin and uh, yeah, not got much lycra left. So um, I'm hoping he's all right. But the peloton's right. nice and easy now. Um, I, I think it could, yeah. But we've been a long way. And the everyone's taking Tom. a nature we haven't break. Got Tom, so I'm surprised. Peloton's going to regroup now. He's, you're in a good spot there, spot with who's up there. So that you might as well collect some points now. We discussed it earlier. When you're not taken for points, absolutely free will. Simon will be with you once we sort it chow out. Up or down, Chow? Hey. Up or down? Up, please. Two mil? Uh, probably more up to like the seven almost, I think. To the seven, too. Yeah. Aye, oh, right, I'll swap that. Cheers. Uh, actually, I'll give you that one. Just... Yeah, it just a mess. I had a bike fit, so. Yeah, no worries. You ready? This is the ISO, I'll give you a sling now. Yeah. This is the ISO for um, Rory. Yeah. Rory. Who was the first one? Ryan. Bostock. With Tom out of the peloton, it was the perfect opportunity to fill his pockets with bottles so he could take them up to his teammates at the front of the race. Remember, this is a team event and using those opportunities wisely will then pay dividends at the end of the race. Just heading down to the same. Now we've been told that the boy is going 100k an hour down here. Just shows how fast you can go in the peloton. That is insane, Beach. Where would you rather be? Oh, down there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What a place to go. Jacob in the break was doing a fantastic job up front, but all hell was breaking loose in the peloton. The peloton has been truly smashed by the first KOM, so load of groups dotted uh, down the road. So we're going to start making our way through all those groups back to the front. But Jacob Scott has nailed the KOM four points, so he won the kick at the top of the climb and uh, he's got maximum points but now it's back to focus for us mainly him and uh, and we're going to get back up to the peloton so we can support our riders that are in the front 
sprint of the day. First, seven, two, seven, two. No. Second, eight, so he got second. Eight, five, it's still good. Third, one, but yeah, eight, Jason Scott's having a hell of a day already. And only 54k in. Up again now, Scott. Come on, we like that. Stop going forwards, Matt. I can't get to you. <laughs> right, that's Max. Turn away. 225, yeah. the gap. With the sun beating down on the riders and the temperature nearly up to 30 degrees, it was absolutely paramount that we kept the riders hydrated. It's a bit of a calm before the storm now, so we're taking the opportunity to get some lunch in. So uh, I'm going to find out well, what this one year has prepared us. Um, it basically looks like that. Some apples. Walker's crisps. I'm personally a uh, spoke bacon fan. And um, a roll. I'm not sure which one. That's probably yours, actually, mate. It might well be some cheeky little pork pies in there. The other question is when do you get to go to the loo? Oh, you don't. It's training. <laughs> what, what is it? I reckon. I'm going to guess. It's the same as Tim's. <laughs> and the Swan years have actually made me one. Which is nice then. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to tuck into this. While I tuck into my sandwich, I wonder what Manon's up to. Now, whilst Hank is pretending to be a director sportif in the team car, I've come 100k into the stage to the feed zone to find out what the Swaniers do here. Right, what are the riders having for lunch today? Well, so I'll give them a musette, and inside the musette, there's two bottles, so do you want to take that? Yep. Um, energy, ISO tab, and some bits of food. So we've got a rice cake here, peanut butter and honey. Did you make those? I made those last night, Ooh, yeah. Very nice. And um, an energy gel, flapjack, and then a bag of ice, just to keep them cool if they can shove them down. Definitely the need that today. Yeah. I mean, I could do with one. I've got a spare one. <laughs> So you can choose to feed anywhere from after 30K and before 30K into the race. How do you choose where to um, feed? So today I've picked it on where, so I need to be able to get to the, from the start to the feed to the finish to see them at the finish as well. So it needs to be like, I need to be able to get in between them. Um, so we've come to Ivory Bridge and um, they'll be coming up this hill here and I'll catch them just at the top before they go off. Um, so about 100K in. So it's about halfway for them. And I'm guessing on a hill is quite nice. They'll be going a little bit slower than on the flat. Is that, that why yeah, we've chosen a hill? Yeah, we'll try and like pick, not too steep, because um, they don't want to be like stopping. They need yeah. to have some speed in them. But the slower they go, the easier it is for me to pass out the musettes to them. I'm passing out the, the, the musettes to them. Is that quite tricky? I mean, I've never done that before. I've been on the other side of it. And it can be quite hard to like, even just to get a bottle sometimes. Yeah, I just, you just gotta like spot them in advance and then as they're coming, sort of like gauge their speed, pass it out and then sometimes they'll ask for like two or something, they'll just give like, Last like a, yeah, like a hand gesture or something just to say, look, like can I have two? If they, know, if they know the teammates are just on the other side or they're not gonna get in time, then they can just take one for them. So. And is there a certain way you have to hold? The um, to yeah, give it so to them. I didn't realise this, but I was talking to one of the lads and they say they like grip it through. Um, so I just hold it up like that. Obviously, it's full of stuff and they can like get it in between. Oh. Um, it just happened to be like that. I thought they grabbed it like that, but they go in between. She'll be near the top. Yeah, there they are. Is that them on the right? No. Oh, yeah, she's up top. She's about 50 metres, 50 metres and closing. Whoop, <laughs> whoop. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for your sandwich. Thank you. Thank you. See you, team. <laughs> so the riders are going to be coming back, filling their jerseys Foster, with the balls. I'm two cars behind you. I can see your ass. I just pull, pull over a little bit and come back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> a few ice socks as well that Owen's kindly put down. Thank my you back here as well. Well, I've got stock. What do you want, Max? Ice. What do you want? What? No. What do you actually want? Three gels. Three gels, what normal? He hasn't got an ice sock for you because he dropped one. Three There's three gels. <laughs> How many gels has he had? I feel it, mate. That's freaking ridiculous. There's another one. I reckon he's literally just thrown about nine gels in here. <laughs> 
With 57 kilometers to go, it was all hands on deck. The guys in the peloton needed to protect Rory, their sprinter, and Jacob really needed to dig as deep as he possibly could. I mean, he could potentially get a stage win which would transform his career. Boys, they're saying sheep on the road ahead. Please be careful, keep your eyes wide. Only in the UK is there sheep on the road. Have you had that in any other races abroad? No. <laughs> Give us a quick update, mate. What's the plan? Well, at the minute, it looks like Jumbo are happy for this to go right out. I don't believe for one second they uh, want to lose the leader's jersey today. So I think they'll bring it back or someone else will bring it back to close. But it's starting to get to the point where they're going to need to crack on. It is lumpy and they can manage that quite quickly. Yeah, I mean, still a lot can happen at the minute. I think. Um, I think we'll worry about the back end of the race once we're inside the last 30. For now, we're focusing on the comms. Ball, ball, ball. Let's give it to him gently. There you go. Keep going. You got Keep it? Use the cars. Watch his finger. Finally, just what I wanted to do. I get the opportunity to hand bottles out. Oh, no. Go on, mate. Up, 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 up. Jacob has done an incredible ride, but another attack from Carpento rides for Rally left him in no man's land. But can he hold on for second? Around about 35k to go, boys. Jacob's had that climb, that climb, and that climb, taking maximum points in all of them. So, got to be happy with that, Aiden. Yeah, yeah, we, we know we've come for a jersey, we make no bones about that, but. We've got two going all right now. There's a long way to the end, but you know, it's down to us to control that. How you been, mate? Oh, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's a good second day out. It's the best you can ask for. Retains both jerseys, we love that. And not many mechanicals. Not many Touch mechanicals, work. just one big one, yeah. <laughs> I've got to say, guys, with all the excitement, though, I've forgotten that we actually haven't peed yet. Yeah, no, you no, really I'm... are looking to pee, aren't you? Well, I'm desperate. I've got to tell you now, with um, 30k to go, yeah. we ain't peeing. What do you mean? I mean, we ain't been. You'll be alright, that's what we're doing like we, 25 we, minutes. It's been like 4 or 5 hours. You can do I 25 minutes, I'm, can't you? You're an adult. I don't have a drop in my bladder, I swear to God. No! So I'm the only one that's like suffering yeah. in the quiet here. Absolutely. I'm a, right. I could do, I would go if I stopped, but I'm not gonna, because... I literally... We, I'm, I'm not, not I'm not leaving these boys. Great. Not okay, cool. It's conditioning. You just reckon you're doing an endurance stuff? Yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> this is harder than that. So a lot of Yumbo riders are coming back now because they've been working hard on the front. Still one lone leader, 15 kilometers to go. But riders coming back, I can't believe. Uh, this one's just big. Andre Greipel there coming past now. Go Andre. Ten k to go, and Jacob Scott's just been caught within ten k. So insane ride uh, by Jacob Scott up at the front, and uh, and now it's up to um, Carpenter, one of the rally riders, to maybe hold on for the win, and then hopefully uh, Rory can get up there in the finish. So uh, it's still all to play for. Well done, Scott. Great effort. Be what, Rory's going to get top five. Here he goes. Go on, Rory. Go on, Rory. Second, uh, oh, Alex Pierce was about four. What day? Very messy, didn't it? What day? Take that, man. Wow, really? Wow, you so sum it up for us, mate, quick. Well, it looks like another top five in a stage, outrageous, in the mix for an actual stage with Jacob's outstanding ride. So, and we've got control of both jerseys. I mean, yeah, can't fault that. Mate, it's been insane joining the uh, joining the team car for the day. Woo! Rory, I think you got another fifth there, mate. Well done. Freaking good job. Like here, the riders starting to warm down. Max did a head of ride. Rory pulled out a nice little finish there. Ryan, as always, cool as a cucumber. Here we go, Mr. Boss. How you doing, man? Enjoy it? Here he is. 
Ooh, all right, Hank. What a day. It looks like you had a nice day sat, sat down all Let day. Let me tell you, in there is more stressful than being a bike rider. I've had it all. We've had mechanical changes, we've had crashes, we've had bottles, we've had shooting down to the finish, warp speed, yeah. Did, we've you, had it did all. you actually help with anything though? Or uh, did you just I, sit there? I like to think I did. I like okay, to think good. I did. How did you get on? Yeah, great. I had a lovely day out. Watched some bike racing, went to the feed zone, found out how that all works. It was, I've never actually been to a feed zone without being a bike racer. So it's, yeah, it's, it's been really nice cool. for us to go behind yeah, the scenes, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. And kind of see what happens for the race behind the race, I guess. Yeah. If you guys have enjoyed it as much as we both have, then let us know in the comment section below. But most importantly, you know what to do, right? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to say, it was so nice to be back at an actual bike race. Yeah. Like a real life bike race. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Give it a big thumbs up. And if subscribe. not, just for those guys, because I think they smashed it today. They did? Right, should we go and get a drink? Yeah. And I need a pee. Sweet. Genuinely. Like, I needed a pee all day. Uh -huh. they, he, he didn't let me go for a pee. I don't want to know anyway. that, Hank.